Hello, I hope you had a good Christmas. Mine was good, although it's not over yet because normally we have things before Christmas, but this year we have things afterwards. Lots of people getting together for the next week or so. It's gonna be nice. Now I got lots of nice things for Christmas. I now have a dressing gown that doesn't have holes underneath the armpits. And I also have this chair, or rather the vibrating bit. It's quite nice. Today I'm working on my website, trying to make it all nice and pretty adding to the content that, well, it's a bit out of date at the moment. So let's see how I'm getting on with it. I've mentioned previously that I'm shifting away from complicated, scary words and towards pretty, colourful pictures. Most of it is simply adding content to pages that already exist, which is more rewarding than it should be, though I'm sure that not many people ever notice the updates. What I'm really trying to figure out is how to do the main page. Most people plaster their sites with their content, CV and expertise, but I, I don't know. I don't think I want to give the impression I'm trying to get a job based on my website. I'd rather they'd have to hunt me down if they want to get in touch, but not in a stalky way. I have along the top links to the different channels, and then the main series that people may be interested in down below. I'm pretty sure that most people will want to jump straight to the YouTube channel and to browse it from there, but if they're more interested in a separate series, then maybe they'd like to view it on this website. Which is why, as often as possible, these link to a page of my website that showcases the videos. This makes it awkward for things like, say, Going Low in CSGO, where each video looks roughly the same. Do I want to have them all after each other, or simply an embedded playlist? I've chosen the embedded playlist for this since they really have to be watched in order. My Life Diaries, this very series, is another challenge. It's too large to be one playlist. I don't want the first video to forever represent the series, which can, and will, change drastically over time. I have decided to make a playlist for each month. I may later change this to definitive stages in my life, although these are usually hard to determine until they are finished. To make these logos, I choose a clip from the video, save it as an image, then crop and resize it to fit the size of the icon. This is the hard bit. The long, thin shape makes it difficult to include all of the relevant information. I have this page in a Multimedia Fusion 2 program. I still use this instead of Photoshop whenever I want to edit something. A bit of resizing later and there, a nice pretty logo. I make it double the size and then squish it down to give it a bit of anti-aliasing. It loses a bit of clarity in the process, but who cares? All in all, I'm quite happy with the website. It's fun to navigate and puts all my content where it can be seen. I won't be pleased until I have given every series their own image and page, and will have to sort out a new way of filing old, finished series as time progresses, but that's for another day. The slow roll of evolution will ultimately beat the dashing hair to the finish line. Oh my god, that sounded so gay! <laughs>